All right, fam, what's going on? We are about to cover a few command line tools. And command line tools are just tools that we run from the command line. Um, on the Windows operating system, we are using a command prompt. And on a Linux operating system, we are using what we call a terminal. Since I'm on a Linux operating system right now, we are using a terminal. Okay, and the command line tools that we're gonna talk about today are typically used for troubleshooting. Troubleshooting network connections, network issues, trying to see what's going on. For instance, let's say one of our users has an issue connecting to Google. In other words, every time they type in google.com, for some reason they cannot get to the web browser or they cannot get to the web page. One thing we would do is check if Google's online. We would simply ping it. Ping is a command line utility that we use to test connectivity. So if we wanted to see if Google was online, we would type in ping followed by google.com. Since Google is online, it will continuously respond back to us. Hey, I'm online. 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 Over and over and over. On the Windows operating system, this response from Google or anyone we ping will only happen four times. Because we're on a Linux operating system, it will continue to ping Google and Google will continue to respond back to our ping until we stop it. And we can stop it on Linux by hitting Control C. Okay. So that is the ping command line utility. Now, Google happens to be online. But that end user, end user A, for some reason, cannot connect to Google. So there has to be something along their route along their path to google.com that is stopping them. So imagine leaving your house and going to work or going to school or going to the gas station or grocery store. Sometimes you run into a red light. It's stopping you from getting to your destination. Sometimes there may be a bad accident that's just holds you up for hours. Fortunately, we have things like MapQuest or the news and GPS is like ways that tell us, you know, where there's traffic on the way to our destination, to the grocery store, to, the, to work, and we find a way around it. Well, we have something in the command line, or we have a command line tool that is similar to a GPS. It is similar to MapQuest. It is similar to Wave. It tells us or it shows us where our connection is being blocked or stopped at. So for our end user that's trying to connect to Google, if we verify using ping, a command line utility that Google is indeed online and our end user cannot connect to Google, our next step is to try and troubleshoot where their connection is stopping at. Where along their route from their computer to Google, their destination, where is their connection being blocked? So to find out, on Linux, we would use traceroute. We would do traceroute, google.com. And traceroute is going to show us the route that our machine takes to get to google.com. These routes, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way down to 14, these are considered hops. These are hops. This is, it took us 14 hops to get to google.com, our destination. Each hop is technically a router. So it took us 14 routers, maybe 13, because the 14th is Google. It took us 13 routers or 13 hops to get to our destination. If our end user, for some reason, couldn't get past hop five, maybe there's a firewall in the way. The, Maybe there's some other network issue, permission, some access control that we have to investigate. But ping and trace route are what we use to test network connectivity or what we use to troubleshoot network connectivity. Okay, 
On Linux, it is Traceroute. On Windows, it is Trace RT. 